What on earth is that? Either someone is being attacked by a flock of wild geese, or someone is playing the bagpipes. Ah, uh, I wish it was the geese. As you may have guessed, today is National Take a Woodwind to Work Day. Unfortunately, not many people signed up. So I, I will be surrounded by woodwinds all day. Randolph, great bagpipe playing. I'll see you on the walk home. I'll get the door. Morning, my marvelous marble friends. I shall now entertain you with this recorder, the most simple of all woodwind instruments. Ah, we're already on the woodwind overload. Why's that? When your ears recover from the man playing that bellowing octopus of an <laughs> instrument, listen to what is happening down in the lab. What kind of music do you call that chumble? Oh, the winds, you silly composer. Because of those instruments were once all made of wood, and you use your wind to make music. Ah, we wish one instrument would win, and the others would lose and be quiet. Ugh. Right, so that reminds me. I've got a woodwind quintet coming this morning to the shop. I completely forgot. Unfortunately, they didn't forget you. The Woodwind Family. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm joined by this brilliant woodwind quintet. There's Michael on the bassoon. There's Ashley on the piccolo. There's Michelle on the oboe. There's Shantae on the flute. And there's Jasmine and her clarinet. We're going to test the range of each instrument, how low to high they can go, using this marvellous invention. Dun, 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 dun. The rangeometer, 3,000. Right, Michael, hit it. I want your lowest note and your highest note. Cool, feel all right? Let's have a look. Look how low he goes. Really much lower than the bottom line on the bass clef. Now, let's test the piccolo. Hit it! Ouch. Right! Now, that was started in the treble clef and went way, way above the top line in the treble clef. Now, to the oboe. Hit it. Perfect. Now, not quite as high as the piccolo, but still higher than the bassoon. Right, let's hear the flute. Cool. Hold that. I don't know why, but hold it. Look at that. Not as high as the piccolo, but kind of similar to the oboe. Now to the last one. The clarinet! Boom, chicka boom. Jasmine, hit it. Great range. Look at the range of the clarinet. It's more than all the others. Right. What is he doing to those people down there? Something involving a rabbit the ducks, I think. Mm, yeah. Wee, 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 wee. Now, we're going to put them on the stairs in range order. Michael, you go to the bottom of the stairs. Ashley, I think you need to go to the top of the stairs. Michelle, I think you're in the middle. Off you go. Shantae, you go next to the piccolo because you're second highest. And Jasmine, you go next to Michael. There we go. They're all on the stairs in range order from lowest to highest. Cool. But that's not the whole story. Each instrument has a range from low to high, but also each instrument has a timbre. No, not timber, timbre. Timbre is to music 
like shades are to colour. There's not only one blue, there's dark blue, light blue, royal blue. They're all blue, but each one is distinctive. Right, I'll play my C. Michael, play a C that's funny sounding. Jasmine, play me a mellow C. Michelle, play me a suspicious C. Shantae, play me a sweet C. Oh, how sweet. And Ashley, play me an excited C. There we go. All different Cs, but a whole range of different feelings to them. So there we have it. Woodwind instruments, they're made differently, they look differently, they have different ranges and different timbres. And, believe me, they can play beautiful music together. Practically everyone sounds like this when first beginning to play the recorder. But with practice, you get better. and occasionally stranger. But if you keep at it, the lowly recorder can produce some really cool music. Over to you, Dusty. Thank you, Paula. Now, here's what we're looking at as we zoom in on the clarinet. A warm stream of air moves from the lungs across the reed, causing the reed to vibrate. That's going to generate sound. Let's set that air front in motion, shall we? We see the air carrying the sound moving through the clarinet in this direction. Our forecast calls for it to escape through any of these holes. If they're not covered up by fingers, now, if the keys are pressed, these valves will open, and that means a 100% chance of altered airflow. <laughs> of course, the rest of the air flows out through this bell at the bottom. Every combination of holes and keys produces notes. Great fun, as far as I can see. Now, back to you, Paula and a heartwarming story of a hamster that saved a family of mine. Good night. Not everyone can play the bassoon. You have to have large fingers to reach from here to here. It is one of the least played instruments. So if you get good at it, you'll get a ton of jobs playing. The bassoon is a double reed instrument. This means there is a reed on the top and on the bottom. To produce sound, form the word O with your lips. Place the tip of the reed on your bottom lip Tighten your lips around the reed and blow. The piccolo is so cool. It plays higher than any other woodwind. In fact, it is the highest instrument in the orchestra and you can play it in a marching band. I love it. To play the piccolo, you tuck in your bottom lip and blow air across the hole. Try saying the word two with a smile. This is the mouth shape you'll need to play the piccolo. But the clarinet has the greatest range of all of the woodwinds. You can play jazz on it. Listen to that. I love it. The clarinet is a single reed instrument. To play the clarinet, cover your bottom teeth with your bottom lip. Then set the reed on your bottom lip and place your top teeth firmly on the mouthpiece. Close your mouth as if you are smiling and blow. The O sounds the A note by which all of the instruments in an orchestra are tuned before a performance. Without this, Orchestras will go out of tune. The oboe is the best. The oboe is also a double reed instrument. Bring your lips together as if you're about to whistle. Then place the reed on top of your bottom lip and in front of your bottom teeth. Tighten your lips around the reed and blow. But the flute is the oldest of all woodwind instruments. Without the flute, none of your woodwind instruments would even exist. My flute can play jazz as well as pop music. To play the flute, you tuck in your bottom lip and blow air across the hole. The flute is definitely the best. Hey guys, listen, you've got to work together on the music that I gave you. Now, don't forget the big event tonight in the studio, right? Okay, see ya. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Welcome to the first of three matches in the World Orchestra Section Moving Championship. The first move is by Alex Logoshoff. Violins and violas to front, center, and left. Well placed by Logoshoff, and that's countered immediately by Berbatov. Cuts him off with cellos and basses to front, right. Logoshoff plays brass to the back. No, wait, he's adjusting it slightly to the right. Berbatov goes behind the brass section with percussion. Check me. No, wait. Woodwind to the center gives Logoshoff the game. 1-0 to the Russian. You really know your orchestras. I beat you in the next episode. <coughs> now, to demonstrate the versatility of their woodwind instruments, my woodwind friends will now play something old and something new. First, something old. A piece called Arioso by J.S. Bach. Hit it. <laughs> to the way the different ranges and timbres of the woodwind quintet kind of mold together and create a great sound together. Try and pick out the bassoon, it's really low pitch, and try and pick out the piccolo at the top. And if you really concentrate, you can pick out the clarinet, the oboe, and the flute as well. was brilliant but now for something new the woodwind jam <laughs> music to my ears. Eh. Enjoy it while you can. The man with the bellowing octopus will be back soon. Oh, don't remind me. Yeah. The dog squash. I wanted to learn a woodwind instrument, but I just couldn't decide between them. So I built this one-man woodwind bagpipe unit thing, and uh, it's working brilliantly. Randolph, eat your heart out. You got competition. 